What's going on everybody? This is Tyler Sonic here bringing you a brand new video. Hopefully you guys are all having a great and blessed day. Um, I wanted to bring you guys a new video today uh, that kind of goes with the video that we did a couple videos ago where I talked to you guys about some renderings that I did for the Chrysler 200. Um, I did some renderings on Photoshop to show you guys a couple of colors I was interested in doing if I was to wrap the 200. And I've been getting a lot of comments and as I said in the video, if you guys were interested to leave in the comment section, if you would want me to do a video specifically showing you how on Photoshop I was able to do these renderings uh, with the photos of my car so that way you guys could learn how to do it yourselves and that's exactly what today's video is gonna be so if you guys are interested make sure you drop a thumbs up subscribe if you guys are new let's go ahead and get right into it I'll show you guys how we do it we're gonna go ahead and find a good picture of the 200 right now which I'm just gonna use the one that I used in the previous video alright so as you guys see up here on the screen right now I've got a picture of the 200 that I really liked I thought was gonna show some of the good angles as you see I've got a nice body line right here body line down the door um, it shows a little bit of the front kind of up over the windows the back trunk so this is the type of picture that in my opinion works really good if you want to use more of a side profile that works I do uh, recommend recommend that you do it at some sort of angle though uh, straight on the side or straight from the front or straight from the back you're not going to really see a whole lot so you want to get as much of it as you can so either from this angle or the same type of angle but from the front towards the back that's probably going to be your best bet for me my tail lights are so bright red and I have the bright red reflectors I really wanted to see what it would look like to contrast that um, which I have decided on the 200 wrap color so I haven't told anybody yet what it's going to be uh, but I can tell you that those tail lights definitely changed my opinion on what color I was going to choose because I wanted to make sure it was going to complement that or go with it really well. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to grab this tool right here which is going to be basically a selection brush and you're going to want to be on the quick selection to get the biggest body panels of the car to help speed up the process. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and highlight here. So you'll notice that there's these lines right here. This is showing what's outlined. So right now it's done all of this just in that one click. Okay so we've got this highlighted. So if you take the add tool make sure it's on add which is this middle one and you just take that and you can move this and select all of the alike areas on your photo depending on how good of a photo it is and how good Photoshop can determine what you're looking for sometimes you're gonna end up with extra stuff like this so if you look really closely it's catching a similar color in the background what's really cool is if we go back to that selection tool and we click this you can go in and subtract and you just take this and erase what you don't want you can get very very close you can zoom in if you want to get way more precise it just depends how quick you want to do it what I'm showing you guys is just a really quick one run through but if you look you can see how precisely to the actual body of the car I can get so that's how we go in and correct that now there's some areas of the car that it hasn't picked up yet so you'll notice right here in the front it didn't pick that up it didn't pick the mirror up and it also didn't pick up the top trim above the window so what we can do is we can take the addition of the second selection brush and we can kind of just paint in what we want up here and just get it as close as you can and you can go in and clean up your edges later you can go in and subtract you can see here I went a little high and look at that it's much smoother so right here you'll notice there's a little dip and that's the shadow from the mirror so I can go in and actually add this so that way it's a straight line it really gets all the color then we'll go here to the front paint in anything that's white make sure we get the front of the car I'm gonna get under that fender well as much as you can see and I'm gonna go ahead and skip forward I'm gonna go ahead and go through and paint all of the small sections in and then I'll check back with you guys in just a second now really quick another thing I want to show you guys is in my picture Picture, it recognized the license plate as part of the car so what we can do is we can go in and subtract that because I want the plate to still show up so we'll go ahead and make this a little bit bigger get that all subtracted out of there and again I'm not going super precise you guys can take your time on this if you're really looking for a professional and super detailed rendering um, I suggest just taking your time on it to be honest with you guys it's super super easy and then another thing that it recognized as part of my car was my backup camera so I'm going to go in and remove that as well before you move on to the next step you just want to zoom out and check everything that's highlighted now for this I'm also again not going to go super detailed this right here this part of my car is plasti dip so it is a little bit different shade so it doesn't recognize it as easily in the renderings I showed you guys in the last video where I talked about the wrap color 
colors I had to go in and actually sit there and manually brush all that out um, but I'm not gonna go that detail I'm just gonna show you guys the body part right now so as you can see it's highlighted basically all the general white areas that I wanted it to go through and then at this point it's very very simple just make sure you watch step by step because if you miss any of these it can mess it up uh, so you're gonna want to click on the background and bring it up to right here which is gonna make a copy layer so you'll see there's background copy and you just hover over that when you have it clicked and let go and it'll create a new layer uh, then we want to go up and click on the add layer mask and that's going to show everything that you've highlighted you're now going to see in that layer mask okay so that's why you see that to the side so the next thing you're going to do is go to layer new adjustment layer and hue saturation and you have to make sure that you check this box if you do not check this box it will try to change the entire picture's coloration so here you're changing to the previous layer which is everything we just masked off so when you click that click ok this little box I've already done it so uh, and then make sure you hit colorize and you'll notice this just changed the color of the car you want to make sure that you hit the colorize checkbox when you hit that that's going to change the color of the car and here is where we can start messing with the hue the saturation the lightness now what I recommend doing is kind of bumping that saturation up that's gonna help you kind of see what color direction you're going with the car and then as you can see you can mess with everything from here you got anything down the color wheel and as you can see there's a couple of spots that I missed like I said just doing it really quick just wanted to show you guys how easy it is also right here take your time make sure you're not missing that stuff you can always go in and edit the mask as well um, but here is basically you just sit here and mess with the color mess with the lightness you can make it look you know super blown out which looks fake or you can do kind of like what I do where I turn this down make sure that I can still see the body lines and then kind of go with the colors from there um, saturation up or down just really depends if you want to go saturation all the way up so yeah very simple um hopefully this did help you guys out if you did enjoy and found this helpful please make sure to slap that thumbs up button please subscribe if you guys are new we are growing like crazy and i truly appreciate everybody that's been joining the sonic squad and for those of you that are new for coming back and watching more content in the description below i'm going to add the video that i filmed yesterday and uploaded this morning so if you guys didn't have a chance to check out that vlog go ahead and head over and check that out now thank you guys again for watching this is sonic and I'm out.